parish of St. David is on an ecotourism takeoff with the commissioning of its new Mongazo Visitor Center. The facility, which takes the place of the previous one destroyed during Hurricane Ivan, provides visitors with information on the area's attractions and other items relevant to tourism. The project provides a scenic view of the parish and trails to exotic trees and wildlife habitat. Rikisha St. Louis has more. Sitting on the peak of the hills in Pedmota St. Davids with a breathtaking picturesque view the island has to offer is the Mongazo Visitor Center and Nature Trail. Well, let's say a new visitor center. In 2004, the old facility was completely destroyed by Hurricane Ivan and remained closed until 2016 when funds were secured under a Global Environment Fund Jeff Five Star Initiative and implemented by UNDP's Rich to Rift Project in Grenada. Work started and the little structure that was left by Hurricane Ivan was knocked down and a fresh foundation was laid for a new beginning. The project, quarter million dollars in value, was handed over on April 6th to the Ministry of Agriculture, the community of Mongazo and the tourism sector. The journey to getting here to witnessing a new building being rebuilt is a great achievement. I mean, it was long overdue, I know, by many of our stakeholders, particularly the, the tourism stakeholders. I know you will, you will feel well pleased to be here this afternoon and to sit and to watch this beautiful building that has been constructed. And this is one project that we are looking forward to, the recommissioning of Mongazo, because it means a lot to St. David's. You know, this is the only parish without a tongue. So we have to develop attraction. And so this is one of the attractions that we have developed in St. David's Forestry Division. I want to thank the Minister for Forestry and the staff for this excellent job that has been done here today. It's a great feeling personally for me to witness this uh, great occasion and also for the Forestry Department to deliver on our responsibility as our mandate state to provide to ensure that the forest provides sustainable economic benefits for the Grenadian public. This is well entrenched in our forest policy that the forestry department optimize the use of forestry resources in such a way that it benefits us all. After years of closure, the tourist attraction facility was truly missed by many, including tour operators, who over the years have brought hundreds of visitors to the site daily. They are now anxious to include the Mongazo Visitor Center on their list once again. We used to have before Ken Ivan uh, tours in Mongazo with the cruise ship, and uh, well, after after Hurricane Ivan, of course, uh, everything was mashed up and destroyed, and no longer we we no longer brought people there because the facility didn't exist anymore. And uh, well, we are today extremely pleased to see that uh, one of the sites is back on track. And uh, we didn't have time yet to uh, experience the trail, but uh, I was uh, expecting to do it today, but it seems it's not in the plan of the ceremony, which uh, we will do it later. And we will try to, uh, to have a proposal uh, for the cruise ship uh, coming after an assessment. Well, our visitors are always looking for new things to do on the island, and especially so those involving nature and hiking. We're getting a lot more interest in people wanting very active tours. Um, and of course, we're trying to increase the, the younger visitors to the island. And having a product like this is, is really going to open that up for us. And we're really happy that there is more happening. Um, the views, people come to the island and, and we like to bring them to places that they can get to see more than just one part of the island. So I think it's such a beautiful view out there that they're going to really enjoy the views as well. Um, we will introduce it right away. We, I mean, we, we do not only offer tours to cruise passengers, we also look after most of the passengers that are staying in all the different hotels. So it's something that as soon as we get back from this, we're going to go into the office, talk about it and put together new experiences for our passengers. Being the only green forest in the southern belt of the island, the visitor center has great potential and holds tremendous benefits for Grenada. 
With its panoramic view and the beautiful nature trails, the center is now a best seller for the authorities when marketing the island as a destination of choice for visitors. And Permanent Secretary Marina Jessimi explains to tour operators exactly how they can include Mongazo in their sales pitch to tourists. In Mongazo, you would find from a tourism pros uh, perspective that you have two products in one, a visitor center and beautiful nature trails. With a vista as you cannot describe anywhere else, I believe that we have an opportunity to use the site in an optimal manner. It is a site if you would like to explain it to visitors in less than 10 minutes, if you come from the um, ministerial complex, you will be here in less than 10 minutes. But if you take a leisurely drive, if I may say it like that, we would like to see it marketing as less than 30 minutes a drive from the center, which is the town of St. George. The photo opportunities are endless. We would like locals to know for visitors that an entrance fee will be applied for visitors for all guided tours. But tours for students and groups like um, the guided tours for scouts and other groups, our own children, that will be, we would call it like a, a, a contribution to the community so that will not be charged. Our target groups, citizens, schools, returning nationals, tourists in general, and all persons who would like to use this site to enjoy, to relax, and to learn. Because as Minister indicated, we would like people to walk away with the knowledge from the community. Government ministers and officials remain optimistic that new and improved tourism products like the Mongazo Center contribute significantly to economic growth. The Mongazo Forest Reserve from its historical background as a unique forest ecosystem worthy of being protected for its attributes in terms of bi biodiversity, environmental services and socio-economic opportunities is proof that these areas can provide us with enhanced opportunities for national development. I believe that this site will increase options to our locals and visitors alike. It has a lot of grounds for further development. Now that the facility is back in operation and visitors will soon be enjoying all that it has to offer, including the 19-year-old nature trails, the onus is on the government, community and various stakeholders to ensure that it is adequately maintained. The Ministry of Agriculture and Tourism must work closely together to optimize the contribution of our areas of natural significance in the best interest of song tourism opportunities. Whatever activity that is being done in regards to state properties should exemplify the tourism standards. Please take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. For State of Affairs, I am Rakesha St. Louis.